Hey guys, I am back. 2017 is getting off to a good start for me. Um, hope you all had a good weekend. We had a fun-filled weekend. Um, we had respite this weekend, so it's always nice for the kids to have an extra friend to stay with us. Um, yeah, I'm here with a different camcorder for one, because my other camera does this weird sort of disco effect when I upload it to YouTube, so I'm still trying to figure out why that happens. So I'm trying this camera, I've got great background, great outfit, <laughs> literally great leggings and great socks. Then we went snowshoeing and it was really nice, we had fun and it was cold, so I'm like literally like this, like <laughs> all covered up, which you have to be. Um, but no, we, had, we all had a good time and then, yeah, home have dinner, put kids to bed, and I'm trying to come in here and talk about my goals for 2017. So I'm just going to get straight into it because I need to be quick. One, what I really want to focus on this year is increasing my strength and also my endurance. So what I've been doing is just making sure that I stick with my running and I'm just either doing that on the treadmill or outdoors. Right now I'm doing it indoors on the treadmill. So in terms of working on my endurance, I am going to make sure that I'm running at least six miles a week and then maybe increase that to like seven miles by next month. And then with my strength training, it's just making sure that I'm using my weights. Number two, I want to focus more on making time for myself. You know, as a busy mum, you kind of forget to take care of yourself. This time, I really just want to make time for, you know, doing things, nice things for myself, pampering myself, whether it's going for a massage or getting my hair done, doing my nails, um, just all the nice things, right? Maybe even facials or something. Uh, and just basically try to relax a little bit more and not stress as much, you know? Number three, uh, I wanna make sure that I am taking the time to cook meals when we come home after work and it's not to say that I don't cook meals but I'm noticing that lately we were coming home and we're like sticking something in the oven and letting the oven do the cooking basically so I just need to do a little bit more planning use the slow cooker um, maybe prep some stuff that I can quickly make when we get home um, and yeah and also introduce my kids to like different types of foods rather than just the same foods all the time number four it's family time. <laughs> um, I'm working less hours. I'm still doing full time, but like I said before, I was doing extra hours. Um, now I'm not doing those extra hours. So I'm going to take advantage of that and do more with the family. And when I say do more with the family, it's more just spending quality time with them. So doing different activities. So like today we went snowshoeing and last week we had a family day, right? And we went to the movies and did tobogganing. So it's just things like that that are fun and just gets us moving and spending some good time together. And then last, number five, boop, <laughs> is just to be fearless. Like I always find that I'm holding myself back and this year I don't want to hold myself back. I want to follow my dreams and not let others get in my way in terms of whether it's their opinion or letting them distract me and also just not listening to the doubt that creeps up in my mind. So that's pretty much it, short and simple. Um, I'd love to hear what your goals are or what your resolutions are for this year. Um, I hope you're yeah, getting off to a good start. Mine is so far, I'm enjoying it. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.